Sweet School on RealArtCulture.com is brought to you by Syngenta Canada, Alberta Wheat Commission, and CNM Seeds. Johnson at Wheat Pete, realagriculture.com, and I'm in one of my favorite places in the world, a wheat field. So this year, what a different year. 30 degree days, 20 degree nights, right when the wheat is heading out. Unbelievable in terms of, of what stress that puts on the wheat crop. So really weird. Wheat was acting like winter barley. It was actually pollinating in the boot. That's a winter barley thing. From a fusarium timing standpoint, that makes it really tough because you, you can't get good coverage when it's in the boot. You gotta wait for it to emerge, but it's already pollinated, so you're late. As soon as you can do it, you're already late. Nonetheless, we still spray. But the thing that happened was we saw a whack of head snag. And so I get calls on head snag every year. We see it every year. Some varieties, much worse for it than others. Branson, Branson's an excellent variety, but boy, is it genetically prone to head snag. So what about head snag? So we have a, a perfect example right here. So head snag, what's the impact? And I always say it looks way worse than it is. So this head quite clearly, it's snagged. It, it came out the side of the boot. We got this big bend in the rachis, that stem inside the head. And what happens is that collar, it's just growing so fast with that big heat that we had, the head was coming up faster than the collar could release. That collar, the ligule and the oracles, they hang on to that head, it bounces out the side. Is it a big deal? Well, let's think about this for a minute. So if that head's like that, if I broke the rachis, it's all bad because without the rachis being intact, this part of the head won't set any seed, it won't fill. Having said that, most of the time, even if I lose that part of the head, then all of a sudden I'll get bigger kernels in this part of the head. So even when I lose this part of the head, I still don't lose the amount of yield that you would expect. And if we look at another example, look at this one. Yeah, it got snagged, but, and it's really twisted up, but that rachis didn't break. So there's no yield loss to speak of what, whatsoever there. So when you see this, it always looks horrendous. I always get these calls. Is it related to the, to the fungicide herbicide? I get guys put on a T2 fungicide herbicide. They say, that's what caused it. Yeah, it might once in a while have an impact, but it's pretty small. It's genetics and it's weather. It's one of the weird things about wheat. At the end of the day, it's simply not a very big deal. Don't worry about it. Make sure you put your T3 fungicide on and grow awesome wheat.